box here. It's called an aerobatic box, and uh -huh. it's, uh, it's wavered by the FAA. And we just op I open it once a week, sometimes every day, depending on how often you're going to use it. But I, I knew I was going to fly every day this week. And do you open it, or do they open it for they you? They open it. Okay. We, we do. There, there's a group of people that are they can open it. Okay. And it's wavered by the FAA. There, there's been a box at this airport for a long, long time, even before there was a tower. But it's really nice when there's a tower there. Yeah, uh, that's that's why I moved here. Because <laughs> there's a box right in the airport. There aren't that many around. You know, there, there's a few, but a lot of them are. I mean, they're in really, really remote places that you don't want to live. <laughs> sure. So that, because of that, you have a lot of aerobatic pilots based here, then. Yeah. Well. And, yeah, or because the aerobatic pilots have always been based here. And, you know, the, the guy that first started the FBO here was a guy named Ernie Moser, and he had a um, kind of an air show troop called Ernie's Flying Circus. And so he started back in the 60s, so the box has been here for like 50 years, you know. The takeoff's just amazing. Oh, thanks. I mean, I'm not, I'm getting there. I need another the power of is practice before I'm Unbelievable. Sure. Yeah, you get a lot of power. I'm sorry? That does a lot of power. Um, it does have a lot of power, this plane. It really does. So, uh, this engine is awesome. I call the field track. They'll be here in a minute. Okay, so. Full deflection. Hold on, so hard. Let me find a good angle. That's neutral. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go all the way to whatever you want. It's all the way back? I'm sure. So, that's all the way back. Right forward. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, because my camera is not that fast. It's a digital one. So all the way forward. Okay, now let's do... All the way to the right. Got it. Way left. Got it. And then you can all the way back here. Now, when you have full speed, how far do you go with the stick? Not all the way, right? All the way. All, even at full speed? Mm -hmm. It's light. It's light? Mm -hmm. So it's designed, it's designed to be light. That's what the spades do. Okay. They help you. Okay. Now let's do the travel of the pedals. Mm -hmm. I can't hold on. Do you want to get the steps to the Circuit breakers. This is the master switch, turns on the electrical. Oh, okay. okay, that's the alternator, boost pump. This is nav lights, which yeah, strobe which lights. We use sometimes. Avionics for all my other stuff. Um, these are the, you see the, um, the rudder pedals are electric. So when my ferry pilot gets in or another pilot, Oh, yeah. They can push them out. Yeah, we're not going to. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we're not going to. Um, smoke system. And that smoke pump. That pumps up fuel, that pumps smoke up from the uh, from uh, bucket and put it in. Pumps it up into the tank. So air speed, altimeter, manifold pressure, fuel flow, compass. That's our tack. This shows the prop, what the prop's turning, and oil pressure and temperatures. So these are important, and these are important. I'll fly without that. I'll fly if that's broken, but not for very long. This I won't fly without. You don't have a radio altimeter, do you? It's just a standard. No, no. and you know you don't rely on any of that. You just use your altimeter and looking at the ground.
Hi, I'm Patty Wagstaff, three-time U.S. National Aerobatic Champion. Now you can experience the thrill of flying a Patty Wagstaff Extra 300S.